What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Road to Zante. We're playing one of the most highly requested decks, and that is Del Fox Break deck. It seemed like every comment uh, talking about Rogue Tuesday was like, please play Del Fox Break, please play it, please play it. And today we're going to play it, and I'm going to show off what I think is my or er, the best version of Del Fox Break. I know there's a bunch of videos out there, but I haven't seen anybody playing this kind of deck. I've seen some people play Flare and EX, but I really haven't seen people play use. Jirachi, and I think Jirachi is going to be our best answer to Night March. Um, but let's go over the deck and let's see what's it going to be about. Now we play a 4 2 2 2 Delphox break line. Uh, we play this Finnegan because that's 60 HP. Uh, we play this Braxian because that's Clairvoyant Eye. Look at the top three cards out of your deck and put them back. Put them back on top of your deck in any order. Just in case you have a bad hand, you could use Braxian to help you out. And we'll play a 2-2 Delphox Lion. Now this Delphox has the ability Mystical Fire. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may draw cards and you have 6 cards in your hand. So this is going to help you set up. As you see, we don't play any Shamans in here. Uh, Delphox XY It's going to be our answer to help us set up. Draw 6 cards in our hand, which is really, really nice. And the other Delphox is a pretty good, decent attacker. It has the attack Psystorm. This type does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all Pokemon in play on both sides of the field. So there happens to be 9 energy on the field uh, that can do 180, which can knock out Pokemon. 9 energy seems like a lot, but I promise it's not a lot of energies in the grand scheme of things. I guess against, like, uh, Night March, it might not be that much because they have, like, 1 DC down. But if they have 1 DC down, you need, what, 7? You don't even need 7 energies because you're just one-shotting uh, Night Marches regardless. So, I mean, Psystorm is a really good attack. And I do like it a lot. It does help knock out EX Pokemon. Um, so that's the main attacker. Uh, one of the main attackers in the deck. Uh, next up is going to be Del Fox Break. And I like this card a lot. It has a really cool ability. Flare Witch. Once turn to turn, before you attack, you may search your deck for a Fire Energy card and attach it to one of your Pokemon. Shuffle your, other, shuffle your deck afterwards. So this can guarantee you a Fire Energy from your deck onto one of your Pokemon and help you set up. And combine this with a Blacksmith to attach two Fire Energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon and attach for the turn. You could get four Fire Energies in play, which is really, really nice. We play two Flare and EX. I think you need another attacker besides Delphox. I was contemplating between like Entei or Delphox. I mean, uh, not Delphox, Entei or Flareon. And I decided to go with Flareon because Flareon... You really don't need anything else but fire energies, while Entei you need DCEs. So Flare on EX has the attack Blaze Ball. This type does 20 damage or does 20 more damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. So it's kind of like Secret Sword from Caldeo. Blaze Ball does 50 plus 20 for each energy, and it has a really cool ability as well. Flash Fire once during the turn before you attack, you may move a fire energy from one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon. So you can kind of move around the energies any way you want to uh, with Flare on EX, which is really really nice. And we do play two Jirachi. I think Jirachi is going to be our answer for Night March. Uh, Jirachi has the Stardust attack, 10 damage, and you discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. If you do, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. So this way you can discard DCEs, maybe Double Dragons, any kind of special energies, and Jirachi cannot be hurt next turn, which is really, really nice. And I think this is going to be going to be the way that we take down the Night March deck was with two of these Trachis. Now, I think our worst matchup is going to be Greninja. Like, we are Fire-type, Greninja is Water-type. They are going to destroy us. We could get maybe lucky. Uh, they go down to five prize cards. We end them down to one. They have a bad hand, and we win that way. But Greninja is probably our worst matchup. Everything else is winnable uh, with these cards, which is really, really nice. All right, so we play full Rare Candy, so that we can Rare Candy into Delphox. Late game, you can use them as well. We do play two Braxians, so you can mainly evolve, but full Rare Candy is really nice. Now, we do play one Sacred Dash. I think Sacred Dash is better than Super Rod. I, I thought it was, but I think playing Super Rod might be better over Sacred Dash. Uh, Sacred Dash can shuffle five Pokemon back into your deck, and this way, late game, you can throw back in Finnegan's, Delphoxes, and you do have the Rare Candies, which is really nice. Uh, two Switch, because every, we don't have anybody that has free retreat. Um, everybody has the energy retreat cost. Has this guy has one? Oh no, uh, Delphox has two. The other Delphox has two. Uh, Flare only has two, and Jirachi has one. So you do need switches. But the good thing about this deck is whoever's in the active position, you can attack with them, which is really nice. Four Train as well, four Ultra Ball, four VS Seeker. These are staple cards. All right, so two Blacksmith attach two Fire Energy from your discard pile to one of your Fire Pokemon, which is going to be really nice. And that's how we're going to power up our Fire Pokemon out of nowhere. We're going to combine this, like I said earlier, with 
the Flare Witch to get a Fire Energy out of your deck. You have the Fire Energy Attachment, which is really nice. One Lysander, two in, four Sycamore, and one Skyla. Now, the Skyla can let you search for any trainer card and put it into your hand. Now, this can you let you get the Rare Candies, maybe get a Switch, maybe an Ultra Ball. And that's why I like the one of Skyla in here right now. You could maybe cut the one of Skyla, but right now it's staying in the deck. Three Scorched Earth. Now, I might end up cutting a Scorched Earth for a uh, Super Broad. Maybe an energy retrieval. Uh, there's several things I want instead of the Sacred Ash and 12 fire energy. Um, the Sacred Ash, the, sac the Scorched Earth seems really nice because uh, with Scorched Earth, you get discard a fire and draw two cards. Um, so it's kind of good late game. I just kind of wish I had an energy retrieval. Like, and I don't know if I want an energy retrieval. Energy recycler might be good. Um, so it's gonna, I don't know what I would cut for it after playing these games. Uh, I kind of want one. I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's this energy recycler, which seems pretty good. Shuffle five basic energies from your discard pile back into your deck, uh, which then you can use the Delphox Break to get them back out, which is really nice. You can use Energy Retrieval, put two energies back into your hand. Um, and yeah, Super Rod might be one as well. Shuffle back in three Pokemon or energies. Uh, so I'm not sure what the best route is to get back energies. It's going to be one of those three. And I would either cut the Skyla or the Scorched Earth. Uh, I need to play around this deck a little bit more, then I'll be 100%. Uh, because late game, I was running out of energies. Even though we played the 4 VS Seeker and the 2 Blacksmith, I was kind of struggling to get about energies into the late game. But there you go. There's my version of the Delphox Break deck. I did have a lot of fun playing this. Jirachi's really good. Flareon's really good. Um, Delphox is cool to attack with. You can use, like, double Mystical Fire. Uh, like, draw 6 cards, play a bunch of stuff, draw 6 cards, and do stuff, which is really, really nice. Uh, the Delphox Break has a really cool ability as well to get fire energies out from your a deck and it has 180 hp which is a lot like your opponent has to deal with 180 hp uh delphox break which is, is essentially like a stage three uh basic stage one stage two stage three you could play maybe wally but i think wally is too slow i think just going the rare candy route is probably the better way but there you go hopefully you enjoy this deck introduction i did have a lot of fun playing this deck hopefully you enjoy this video thanks for watching and let's see the deck in action Alright, when he gets Debs Z playing a Grass Dragon and a Colors deck, we'll call the coin flip, or they're calling the coin flip, and let's see, will we go first or second? We won the coin flip, so we'll be going first. Yes, I would love to go first, and on to our turn, let's see what's going to happen. Alright, so we get Double Finnegan, uh, Ultra Ball, maybe get a Flareon out, we'll see what happens. Uh, Finnegan, start another Finnegan, and let's see, what is our opponent playing? Now, we start Double Finnegan, which is great. Uh, there is an Oddish. This is a Valpum deck. Oh, man. All right, so Ultra Ball, discard Ultra Ball. I guess it really doesn't matter. We'll discard these two. And with this, we'll get a Flareon. Uh, yeah, we'll grab a Flareon EX. Oh, man, if he gets a turn two... Uh, yeah, if he gets a turn one Valpum, this is going to be really hard. So, via Seeker or a Sycamore. Uh, we'll Sycamore... Oh, come on to me, Sycamore. All right, we'll play Sycamore, discard our Fire Energy, draw 70 cards. Alrighty, so there's a Jirachi. The Jirachi could be really useful. Uh, put down another Finnegan, and we'll end our turn. Now, can we Blacksmith? Well, we can Blacksmith. Uh, the, the big thing is, if my opponent gets out this Giratina, we can use Stardust to discard Special Energies and be okay that way. There's a Flowstone going down to the Oddish, and maybe Jirachi can help us win the game. There's a Love Ball going to search the deck for, I don't know, maybe Unknown? Uh, it looks like a Gloom, so they must have a Force of Giant Plants in their hand, because why else would they be grabbing that card? Uh, there's an Ultra Ball discarding a Judge and a Battle Compressor. Will we see a Giratina come down? That's what I'm thinking we're playing against. It's like a Giratina Valpum deck. There's a Shaman EX. Okay. They have a Shaman and Gloom with two hands, or two cards. What are the other two cards? That's the big question. There's a Forest. We'll see a Gloom come down. Uh, there's a Love Ball. Probably getting an Unknown, most likely. I imagine they want an Unknown to help set up. Oh, another Oddish coming down. Okay. That's interesting. So we see an Oddish come down, we'll see a Gloom, and then a Shaman set up for six. Maybe my opponent doesn't play uh, Unknowns, and that's why they're not getting one? I don't know. But we see a Shaman setting up for six new cards, and will we see a Giratina come online or not? And will we see a Vileplume? That's the main thing I'm concerned about, is a Vileplume. Now we still can mainly evolve into Delphox XY, and if we can get that, we'll probably be okay. Um, seems really good. Let's see... Uh, there's an Ultra Ball, going to discard a Double Dragon and the Team Flare Grunt, alrighty. Uh, going to get the Latios. Now, if he gets a Muscle Band, he can donk us, right? Not, not donk us, but he can get a knock on the Finnegan. There's a Double Dragon, a Shameless setting up for five whole new cards. Alrighty, unless he does, he find a Muscle Band or not. And if he doesn't, 
Uh, well, he can't take a knockout this turn. There's a muscle band, so he will take a knockout this turn. Uh, Flowstone going down onto the Shaman. Trainer's Mel, look at top four cards of his deck. I think I would attach the Flowstone to the Oddish. Looks like Trainer's Mel will be failed. Uh, there's a Vileplume coming down. And we'll see a retreat and a fast raid. Now, like I said, we can get a fire energy on this Jirachi. Uh, and get rid of that double dragon energy. That might be our best play. Uh, so let's see, my opponent is going to draw a prize card, going down to 5, let's send him Jirachi, and let's see, on to my turn, do we find this Fire Energy, and there's a VS Seeker, okay. Um, we can to play Sycamore in, I think playing the in right now is probably the better play, I know my opponent gets a new hand of 5, but we really need to keep those cards in our hand, there's a Fire Energy, and no, okay, we can actually, we're actually okay, because what we can do is put a Fire Energy on the active, you start us, uh, discarding that double dragon, making our opponent can't hurt our Jirachi. And what we could do is retreat into the Flareon, use Blacksmith, put two Fire Energies on this Flareon, put another Fire Energy, and start hitting with the, uh, with the Blaze Ball. So there's a Psychic Energy going down to Latios. There's a Sycamore, going to discard the hand, draw seven new cards. Uh, discarding Team Flareon, Zerosic, and some other stuff. Uh, there's a Fast Raid. It's not going to hurt us because we did you start us last turn. Only to our turn, we get a Fire Energy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Free Retreat into this Flareon EX. I am going to Blacksmith, put two Fire Energies on this guy. Uh, there's one, there's two. Okay. So right now, Blaze Ball doing 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, 13 will bring it up to... I think we just. I think the better play is put a Fire Energy on the Jirachi. And just use Blaze Ball. And next turn we can knock it out. We can knock out Meltank as well if it does come up. So on to my opponent's turn. Uh, okay. So we're, I think we're looking okay. We just If we could find... Like I said, if we could find the Delphox XY somehow manly set up, we might be like really okay. Uh, let's see what uh, the, my opponent decides to do. If they tap Latios, we can just easily knock it out. They can't retreat it right now because it needs two energies to retreat. They could waste a double dragon on it. Uh, I think their best play right now is to hit us for 60. Next turn, you use a mill tank for 80, uh, which is not a knockout. Uh, eight, yeah, 8 plus 8 is 160. Yeah, so that's not a knockout. They'll need to AZ up that Volplume, put another muscle band on that mill tank. So my opponent is in a weird situation. Hmm. Oh, man. So, what will my opponent do? Um, there's a Psychic Energy going down to the Miltank. So, it seems like my opponent is going to give up this Latios. Going to say, hey, you can have him. I'll let you knock him out. So, there's a fast raid for, what is it, 60. Uh, next turn, this Miltank cannot knock us out unless he gets another uh, AZ Vileplume. But there's a Braxian. So, we're getting really close to getting this, uh, what is it, getting our Delphox XY out. Now, we have a Fire Energy. I'm probably uh, going to put it on this Braxian. We could use its first attack to rearrange re top three cards of our deck. And let's go for Blaze Ball. Going to knock out this Latios doing 110 damage. And we can knock out this Miltank the following turn. So we'll take two Price Cards. There's one and there's two. So Fire Energy and an Ultra Ball. Still no real cards to help us. There's a Vile Plume. It has Free Retreat because of the Flowstone. Oh, it's my opponent's turn. Now, does he have an AZ or not to pick up this Vile Plume? Uh, picks up the Vile Plume. He can... Put a muscle bit on this mill tank and then knock us out. Uh, does it knock us out? 8, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, that doesn't knock us out. Wow. So he'll still be short. Uh, there's another Latios coming down onto the field. And he's going to retreat into the Latios. Does he have a double dragon energy? That would be the real question. If he has a, And he is going to go for the double dragon energy play. Uh, so fast raid for uh, 40 damage. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw it to a Sycamore, which is great. That's a great card to draw into. I'm going to use... Uh, Flash Fire, once during turn, you may move a Fire Energy from one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon. I'm going to move Fire Energy from this guy uh, to this guy, okay? I'm going to retreat into the Jirachi. Attach a Fire Energy to the Flareon, and we're going to use Sycamore. All right, so that way you have a Flareon ready to go next turn. We can start us, discard that double Dragon Energy. Uh, there's a Delphox, but that's the wrong Delphox. We do get a Scorched Earth. Um, I'm going to hold on to it right now. Yeah, I'm going to start us, discard that double dragon, making our opponent can't attack us next turn. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get the, man, if we get a Delphox XY, it's really not going to help us out that much right now. Uh, we do have a Skyla. There's a Gloom coming down. Okay. And we've discarded, there's three double dragons in the discard pile. Oh, four double dragons in the discard pile. So we'll get down to Braxian. Okay. 
Um, how many blacksmiths are? And there's one blacksmith. So I'm gonna use Skyla, and I'm gonna see what's in our discard pile. There's a oh, in our deck. We're gonna grab a blacksmith. Oh, uh, we could grab it in. Um, let's see how many fire digits are gonna be in discard pile. There's gonna be three in there. Uh, so let's think about this. Blacksmith let's attach two energies, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so we'll grab a blacksmith. We can use it next turn. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to retreat into the flare on EX. Uh, put a fire, put this guy down. And I think, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to, do we put down Scorched Earth? I don't think so. I'm just going to attach a fire energy to the Delphox. And I'm going to use Blaze Ball. Oh, wrong attack. Blaze Ball for 110. And then next turn, Delphox can take a, uh, Take a knockout, do 20, 40, uh, 60, 80, and that'll take a knockout on this Latios. So, yeah, that's going to be great. And we can start using the Flare Witch. Once during a turn, before you attack, you may search your deck for a Fire Energy and attach it to one of your Pokemon. Uh, so we can start powering up the Death Locks that way. So it looks like we're going to be okay this game. Like, Valplume seems like it's a really bad matchup, but, I mean, pfft, we're somehow pulling them out against this deck. I never see a victory screen coming down. We would have knocked out this guy for sure. We would have treated to this uh, Delphox. Use Blacksmith. Put two Fire Energies on it. Uh, use the its ability. Start getting Fire Energies out. Maybe onto the Flare on EX. Have it ready to go. We would have knocked out whatever he sent to the following turn. So there we go. We take the game against the Latios uh, Valplume deck. Because Drachi. It's, it's mainly because of Drachi. Drachi was the MVP of that game. Use the Stardust. Discarding those double Dragon Energies was really nice. But we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. Let's see if we can get another win or not. Alright, pretty good. Andrea Vio playing a Psychic, Grass, Dark, and a Colors deck. Hopefully, this is not another Valpum deck. We'll wait for opponent to load into the game and let's see what's going to happen. We we'll call the coin flip, call heads like always, and we lost the coin flip, so we'll be going second. And let's see who decides to go first. I imagine they will be going first. So, my opponent's turn. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. Alright, so we get a Mulligan. They're going to know we're playing Delphox, of course. Uh, we have Delphox and Ultra Balls. I mean, this is a Finnegan. We might have an okay hand, but probably not. Oh, man. All right, so I'm waiting for my opponent to choose their active Pokemon. And uh, let's see what they decide to put out. Waiting for them to put out a Pokemon. There they go. All right, so they're going to see we have a Mulligan. Wait for it. Wait. So they must have another Pokemon in their hand. And let's see, do they put it down or not? There they go. And let's see, we'll press done. So we get a mulligan. We'll draw seven whole new cards. Oh, okay, so another mulligan. Okay, we'll try it again. All right, let's try another one. All right, so we get, uh, I guess this is an okay hand. I'm not sure what my opponent is playing, so I'm just going to put that one flare on EX. We'll press done, and let's see what's going to happen. Uh, so you're going to get double mulligan draw. The opponent is selecting their starter Pokemon. There's Zora and a Sceptile. So we're playing against a fire deck. Oh my goodness, this is going to be great. So the Sceptile EX comes down onto the field. So it's going to be Mega Sceptile versus our Dale Fox Break deck. This is not going to be good for our opponent. But my opponent, oh, he has Drowsy. So maybe, uh, maybe Hypno could make a showing in this deck. We see a Drowsy come down. We see a Max Lister going to look at top six cards of, is it six or eight? I always forget. Top six, yeah. Uh, looks like they did find a Grass Energy attached to the Sceptile. And let's see, there's a floatstone going down to the Zora to give it for your treat. And train as well. Look at the top four cards of their deck. Now let's see, this Sceptile has Unseen Call 60 and Fred Thrash Special Condition does 70 more. So 130, which is not a knockout. There's another Max Elixir coming down. And let's see, it looks like they failed that Max Elixir. And there's a, who is this, who is this card, dude? Uh, oh, they can't be affected by... Oh my goodness, I can't see what, the, they can't be affected... By Paralyzation, I guess is what it is. Uh, I, I thought it was, let's see, uh, this Pokemon can't be paralyzed. Okay, so Fighting Fear, but going to that guy, and we see a Darkrai coming down. Okay, so a Darkrai Sceptile Hypno deck. I guess it uses both the uh, Dark Head before asleep, does 80 more damage, and using the Unseen Call. All right, so in our turn, we get a Fire Energy. So I'm put down a Scorched Earth. I'm going to... Ultra Ball discard uh, Fire and a Sycamore, and with this, I'm going to grab another Finnegan. Come to me, Finnegan. Alright, so I grab a Finnegan. Uh, we will put down the Finnegan. 
You just score starts, I guess. You draw two more cards. And let's see, what do we get? There's an Ultra Ball and a Braxton. Uh, I guess we can just Sycamore. The only thing I'm kind of scared about is we discard some stuff. Uh, but let's Ultra Ball. Yeah, obviously fine. Discard both of these guys. We'll grab another Flare on EX. Yeah, we'll grab another Flare on EX. And we'll just Sycamore discard a hand away. Draw seven whole new cards. And let's see, what do we get? My opponent's still not really threatening a knockout turn two. Uh, there's Red Candy, Skylas. We Okay, so we have a great turn two. Uh, we'll put a Fire Energy on the bench, Flareon. And we'll end our turn. Now next turn, we can Ultra Ball, discard Ultra Ball and a Skyla. Rare Candy to Delphox XY. I didn't see the other one as prize, which might be the only misplay uh, that I could make. Uh, because if it is prize, we need to use Skyla first to get a Sacred Dash. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I'm still feeling kind of confident. Um, if my opponent attacks the Sceptile this turn, we can maybe retaliate with this Flare on pretty easily. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 220, which will knock out the Sceptile. There's a Zorak coming down. Grass to the Sceptile. And let's see a Shaman coming down. Going to draw four new cards. And let's see what they decide to get with the Shaman X. Going to set up. And do they get anything or not is the real question. There's a Love Ball. Going to get a, 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 a Hypno most likely is what we're going to see. I imagine. So there's Hypno putting both the Pokemon to sleep. Uh, but they can uh, stand in retreat at any moment. Uh, which is going to be great. But now they can not use Hypno this turn. Because they're going to treat with Zork to this guy. And then they can't use Hypno because they're already it's already active. There's an end. No, an end coming down. No, our hand is really great. Oh, man. So we're seeing an end. Shuffle our hand into deck and draw six whole new cards. Never thought I'd be so sad to see an end uh, in the early games, but I am. All right, there's a uh, Scorched Earth, Rare Candy. So if we get a... Uh, if we still get a... we can still get a Delphox, we might be okay. I'm actually looking for a Blacksmith this turn. I really don't want to use this end. So we see a Dark Energy Patch, a Dark Rye. And let's see what my opponent decides to do. Like I said, they can't put us to sleep right now because they had to retreat the Zork into this guy. Um, there's a Trainer Smell. Unless they hit a switch, then they can do that. Trainer Smell. I'm going to grab a Chaos Tower once again. Uh, make sure I'm reading Chaos Tower right. Let's see. One side can't be confused or poisoned. The other one can't be asleep or paralyzed. Okay, so that's how he's going to keep himself from being asleep. There we go. Um, I, I read Paralyzation, but I didn't read the sleep part. So he's going to put to sleep with the Hyper Hypnosis. Going to retreat into the Sceptile and going to do 140 damage, which is not a knockout. Here comes Sceptile. They have seen an Unseen Call for 140. Okay. All right. And we do wake up, which kind of doesn't really matter. But on our turn, what do we get? We get a Switch. Okay. So put down a Scorched Earth. We will Scorched Earth, discard a Fire, draw two new cards. Can we get a Blacksmith? All right. There's a Rare Candy into Delphox. We'll put down the other Delphox. We will switch into the Flareon. Attach a Fire Energy. And we're going to use Mystical Fire to draw some new cards. Can we find a Blacksmith or not? That is the real question. And, okay. Get a Trainer's Mail. Come on, Blacksmith. And no Blacksmith. Oh, man. That's very unfortunate. Um, We could get another switch. The only thing I'm scared about is my opponent keeps us asleep. So I'm just going to, um, yeah, I'm just going to play in. Oh, man, we whiffed. We whiffed the Blacksmith. So no attacking this turn. Okay. We get a Rare Candy, the other Delphox. Okay. Which is great. Uh, so we have both Delphoxes out in play. So we'll Rare Candy into this Delphox. And we will end our turn. Um, yeah, we'll end our turn. That seems fine. My opponent still can't knock us out, which is going to be great, unless he somehow attacks with this guy. 80 plus 80 plus a muscle, uh, plus a something else is a knockout. But we might be able to start using Delphox. Sci Sci Swim could do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, what, 20, 140, 160. Uh, we will have to get one more energy out in play. So we see a trainer's mode. Good look at the top four cards of their deck. Hmm. Let's see what they decide. So there's a VS Seeker, okay. Um, let's see. So they could put a sleep. They need a they need a, a muscle man or fighting fear, but first of all, uh, there's a free seeker. Going to grab an end. Um, I'm fine with these ends as long as we use them early game and not late game. I'll be a okay with this. So end. Going to put both of us at six new cards. So let's see what's going to happen. There's a fire energy blacksmith trainer smell. Okay, and let's see what does my opponent have. Uh, there's a good night babies. I think I've said hyper hypnosis, but that's definitely good night babies. Sorry about that. And uh, okay, we'll see a stand in. Okay. And does he have the Fighting Fear Belt or not? That is the question. Fighting Fear Belt or Muscle Man will do it right now to knock out our Flare on EX. There's a Dark Rite coming up. 
And does he have it or not? That is the question. Darkhead will not knock us out. Only do 106 damage. All right, and we wake up. Okay, so on our turn, let's see what's going to happen. All right, so we get another fire energy. So if we blacksmith, we can do 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 14, 15. We can take a knockout this turn if we can find a... Let's see, 5, 6, 7, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, no. Two, we can only get five on here, which is the max. Okay, uh, so let's use Trainer's Mel. Gonna grab an Ultra Ball. Yeah, we'll grab an Ultra Ball. And with the Ultra Ball, we're ready to discard a in and a Fire Energy. Okay, we're looking for a Switch. Okay, we'll grab the Delphox. That seems great. We'll grab that guy. <laughs> Put that down right here. We will attach a Fire Energy to this guy. Let's see. So right now, uh, Storm will do... That's 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 140, 160. So yeah, we can take a knockout this turn. Uh, let's use the Blair Witch. We'll attach a Fire Energy. Oh, we only have one Fire left. Oh man, this is kind of bad now. Uh, we'll touch a fire energy to this guy. Okay. We will use the XY, the mystical fire, to draw six cards. Oh, we miss. Okay, we can have a life center this turn, so we can take a knock on the septile. Uh, let's use Scorched Earth to discard a fire, draw two new cards. Alright, so no switch. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to... Hmm. Let's see. I guess we could license into this guy. Uh, take a knockout. Yeah, that might be our best play. But then they... Oh, man. Okay, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to license into the Shaman. That's going to be our best play, I think, because right now we'll use the uh, the Flash Fire, move a Fire to G from this Fire to G onto the Flareon. Take a knockout that way. I think that's the best plan. Unless I miss, I, maybe I mess something up, but we'll blaze ball 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We'll knock out the Shaman EX, going down to 4 price cards. There's one, there's two. Uh, Scorched Earth and a Trained as well. How many Fire Energies are in Discard Pile? There is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it looks like we prized 3 Fire Energies, which is very unfortunate. But we can use a Blacksmith next turn. Uh, there's a Darker coming out. <sighs> Dark Energy, so... Let's think about this. How do we do this? So, good night, baby. He's going to put the bug to sleep. Hmm. Let's see here. So, he's going to put it to sleep. Uh, he's going to rush him and treat. So, size number do 20. Oh, man. How do we do this? Okay. So, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 140, 160, 180. So, we can knock out this dark guy this turn. 160 damage is going to come down. Going to take a knockout. Okay. I'm going to go down to four prize cards. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, yeah, we're going to send this Delph Ox. All right. We're going to use Blacksmith to attach two Fire Energies to this guy. And we get a Jirachi. Uh, Stardust might be kind of useful for the following turn if we top deck a Fire Energy off the price cards. Let's use a Blacksmith. Attach two Fire Energies on this guy. There's one. There's two. So, press done. All right. Um... Um, everything else, well, we need to get another, uh, a Braxian now, so let's use Trainer's Mill. Gonna grab nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're gonna side storm, unless I did the math wrong, this should knock it out. Oh, uh, yeah, so 180 damage, alright. So go down to, uh, two price cards. Give me a Fire Energy. Okay, so there's a Fire Energy, so if he does attack with his Dark Ride, we can use Stardust, discard that DCE, and while using Blacksmith to power up the, uh, Man, which one do we power up? That's the real question. So DC on this guy. I guess we'll power up this guy. That's probably our best option. So DC on that guy. Okay. There's an N. Oh no. That. Oh well. We have. We have. We have Delphox XY. Not. Not even concerned anymore. All right. So we're good. Uh. So N gonna put it down to two new cards. My opponent gets four. Uh. We need a fire energy though, which is probably that's the main thing we need is a fire energy. I guess we should probably put like a, I don't know, uh, super rod maybe get back some fire energies. That could be really good. Uh, but we're gonna see Goodnight Babies. Oh, he, oh yeah, he get Goodnight Babies, Rush and Retreat, or Stand and Retreat. Okay. Huh. Alright, so this is Goodnight Babies. Gonna put it to sleep. Okay. 
He's going to stand in retreat, take a knockout this turn. Uh, but like I said, if we get this Dark Energy, he can't hurt our Jirachi unless he attacks with the Sceptile. That's going to be our plan. Alright, so let's see what happens. Going to stand in retreat. How many VS Seekers has he played? I'll say only two VS Seekers and no Lysander. So we see a Dark Head for 106 damage. But we'll, we're hoping to pop this, uh, this DCE. So let's send up Jirachi. And let's see what happens. So my opponent has three price cards left. On to our turn. What happens? We get a Sycamore, okay? Um, do we use Blacksmith right now? Uh, sure, yeah, let's use VS Seeker for Blacksmith. That seems okay. Uh, so we will Blacksmith, put two Fire Energies onto the Stealth Ox. And we are going to use... Uh, yeah, we're going to use the ability to draw to have six cards in our hand. And we're looking for a Fire Energy, so let's... Oh, we can just Flare Witch. Hmm. So yeah, we'll Flare Witch. Put a Fire Energy on this Jirachi automatically. I forgot that we put it back in the deck, which is great. Uh, and we will use Mystical Fire to draw six new cards. Okay. Alright. And we'll go for Stardust. Getting rid of that DCE. Alright, so how many VS Seekers have we played? One via Seeker, which is great. Okay. Alright, so on my opponent's turn, they can't hurt Jirachi this turn, which is great. Um, man, if we only had the Fire Energy left in our deck, we could power up this guy, license into this guy, take the knockout. The following turn, uh, they receive an Acrobike, discarding an Ultra Ball. Can they find a license or DC or not? There's a Train as well. Gonna look at the top four cards of their deck. And let's see what they decide to get. There's a Delinquent, so they will discard a Scorched Earth, and we have to discard three cards if they decide to use it. I'm not sure if they want to or not. Uh, can we knock it out next turn with this guy? Blaze will do 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, which is not a knockout, unfortunate. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I think I'm still feeling confident. Uh, there's a Super Rod. Gonna shuffle three combination of Pokemon energies back into their deck. And let's see what they get. Maybe some Dark, maybe some Grass energies. So Dark Shaman and Dark Rye. All right. All right. I'm fine with that. Uh. uh Hopefully they can't take a knock. If they don't take a knockout this turn, I'm feeling confident. There's really no way they can knock out this Delphox break. It has 180 HP. There's an Ultra Ball discarding Zora and a Switch. I'm most likely going to see a Shaman EX, and they're going to set up, draw six new cards in their hand. Have they played a Lysander yet? Uh, two DCs are in the discard pile. No Lysander. We'll see a setup, draw to have six cards in their hand. Uh, so two, three, Seven, eight, nine, ten. So our last two cards are fire energies. Oh man. So the dark energy, uh, dark pulse will only do 20, 40, 60. Oh, that will knock us out, really. Yeah, that will knock us out. Okay. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. Okay. There's a delinquent, so we have to discard three cards out of our deck, out of our hand. Uh, we would discard a Skyla, uh, Sycamore, and a rare candy. The only thing I'm scared of is my opponent has a license to knock on Flare on next turn. That's the scary thing. Hmm. Alright, so there's the Dark Pulse. Oh, they actually can't attack us this turn. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot about that. Woo! Alright, so we're okay still. Uh, we're gonna be a Seeker. We're a Blacksmith. I forgot that we, we used Stardust. I got so scared there for a second. Uh, we'll put two Fire Energies onto our Delphox. One and two. Alright, we'll put down a... We'll just use... Mystical Fire. To draw six new cards in our hand. Uh, there's a Finnegan. We will Trainer's Mel. We're going to grab the VS Seeker for the next turn to win the game. Oh, we could get an Ultra Ball. Oh, let's grab an Ultra Ball. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to Seeker Dash. Shovel back in. Uh, I know this guy's in here for sure. And we do have to put five Pokemon in here, but I think that's going to be okay. We're going to put five Pokemon in here. We're going to Rare Candy get another Delphox out. Uh, so we'll, we'll Ultra Ball discard Blacksmith and a uh, Scorched Earth to get a Delphox out. Come to me, Delphox XY. There we go. So that way we can use Mystical Fire multiple times next turn. Uh, so we'll Rare Candy into the Delphox. And we should be able to seal this game up. Uh, so let's use the other Delphox. Draw to have six cards in our hand. We're just trying to thin our deck out to make sure we draw to a VS Seeker the following turn. There's a Jirachi, a Braxton. Uh, put down the Jirachi. And we will just start us for 10. My next turn, we can via Seeker for Lysander to bring up a Sceptile to take a knockout. Now, unless he cannot point to take a knockout this turn or not, that is the scary thing. I'm not 100% sure. Um, they need a Lysander. There's a Sycamore. So, no Lysander this game, and we will take the game. We will via Seeker for a Lysander. 
Bring in the Sceptile, and this attack will knock it out. Blaze Bubble will do a ton of damage. Okay, so there's a Fighting Free Belt going onto the Dark Ride. Don't care about that. Size number do 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We can actually do 170, which doesn't knock it out, but we will take the game against the Dark Ride, Sceptile, Zorark deck. They will go down to two price cards unless they escape rope right now. Uh, but looks like we will take the win. Looks like Jirachi did kind of save us using that Stardust, uh, discarding that DCE. So we see Goodnight Babies putting both of us to sleep. Um, unless my opponent just passes. Oh, and no, he does just pass, and we stay asleep. Oh, man, that is really unfortunate. All right, so on our turn, we get a Flareon. Okay. Wow. Okay, so we'll put down this guy. We will put down the other Delphox. How many Blacksmiths have we played? I mean, how many VS Seekers? We played two VS Seekers, and we know the last one is in our discard pile. I mean, the last two, the last two cards are, are Fire Energies. Okay. Hmm. Have we played any switches? We've played one switch. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to YOLO. I'm going to VS Seeker for a Lysander. I know there's a switch left in our deck, and I think we play 12 energies. Uh, so we're going to Lysander up this Sceptile. We're going to use Dale Fox. Uh, I guess we could have Flare Witch to see what's left in our deck. But let's Mystical Fire for three. Can we find the switch or not? And there is a switch, so we'll switch into the Dale Fox, and we will take a knockout this game. Woo! All right, so we will blaze ball for the knockout. Knock it, take a knockout, doing a 260 damage. Oh man, there we go, and there is. Oh man, and there is the Delphox Break Jirachi deck. Like I said, I think this deck is really cool. I do like the addition of Jirachi, so that way you can start us discard like double, uh, double dragons, maybe DCEs, most likely for Night March. We get a present and some tokens. That game took a good minute, but hey, there we go. We're taking the win against the Dark Eye Sceptile deck. I know we hit for weakness, but hey, we'll take those. Uh, let's see what do we get out of the price cards. And we get one tournament ticket. But hopefully during this episode of Rogue Tuesday, I, like I said earlier, I know a lot of people requested this Delphox break deck. So there you go. Hopefully during this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Tuesday. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, just want to give a quick shout out to our two sponsors, 60 Cards and Yeti Gaming. The links are down below to their websites. Make sure you go check them out. Alrighty.